Zoe from Bellflex. Today we're going to run you through everything you need to know about dye migration. If you're heat pressing onto polyester or sublimated fabrics, this video is for you. We're going to cover off what is dye migration, how does it occur and how to prevent it. Let's get into it. So first things first, what is dye migration? Dye migration or bleeding is basically where the dyes from the fabric migrate through into the transfer. So this can look very different depending on the transfer that you're using and the fabric that you're pressing onto. Sometimes you'll see a complete color change like you can see here, the transfer has gone from white to pink because of the red dyes in the fabric. Or like this one over here, the lines on the fabric have come through into the transfer. So it really depends on what kind of fabric you're using and, and what the base colour is. But overall, dye migration is the change of appearance in your transfer, whether it's a single colour or a printed transfer, from the dyes and the fabric underneath. So what causes dye migration? To simplify this as much as we can, we're just going to talk about polyester and sublimated fabrics. When we're talking about polyesters, we're talking about those high percentage, so over 70, 80%. Usually in your dark reds, your dark navies, your blacks, any of those dark colours or really rich colours tend to migrate like you can see here. When we're talking sublimated fabrics, you're usually thinking of sublimated jerseys, rugby jerseys, all those sorts of things that have pattern, colours and, and those sorts of things in the fabric. What happens when these garments are exposed to heat from your heat press? And remember, we're always pressing quite hot on your heat press, even with the low temps, they're still up at around 120 degrees. What happens when the garments are exposed to that heat is the dye in the fabric becomes a gas and it clings onto everything that it can. This can be the top of your heat press sometimes, it can be parts of the fabric, and unfortunately, a lot of the time, it's the transfer. This doesn't always happen at the time of pressing as well, which can also make it quite difficult. Um, a lot of the time you can heat press a transfer and it looks perfect, and then within the next sort of 72 hours, the, the color from the fabric will start to seep through or migrate through, and you'll start to see that color change. So when we press both of these garments, at first we could slightly see the lines on this one, but it wasn't anywhere near as obvious as it is now after it's been left overnight. And same with this one, this one happened a lot slower. So depending on the, the temperature that it's getting exposed to and the, the level of dye in the fabric can determine the time between it changing color and we know in heat transfer that can be a nightmare because we're pressing a, tra a transfer today, sending it out this afternoon, tomorrow when the customer unboxes it, it can be a completely different colour. So it's so, so important to check the fabric type that you're working with. Um, and it's not just that sublimated, that title of, of sublimated fabric, it can be a heavily dyed polyester. So we definitely recommend if you're using black hoodies or you're using anything sports related, these ones are cool dry, which is really, really um, typical of migration. You wanna just make sure that you're checking that fabric type and you know what you're working with so that you know that migration could occur so that you can look to act in a way to prevent it. Now that we've covered off what is dye migration and how does it occur, we've reached the most important part of the video. How do we prevent it from happening? Thankfully, this is actually the easiest part of the whole process because all it comes down to is selecting the right vinyl. When you're pressing onto dark, heavily dyed polyesters, sublimated jerseys or anything like that, and you're putting a light coloured transfer on there, so white or a light coloured printed transfer, you want to make sure that you're selecting a vinyl that has a blocker layer built into it. That blocker layer works exactly as the name suggests, to block the dyes from coming through the fabric and changing the appearance of the transfer. This is a really simple step that ensures that you have complete confidence in the transfers that you're sending out, and it means there's not going to be any colour changes or anything like that. Thanks so much for watching guys, we hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions about dye migration or selecting the right vinyls, please give the Velflex team a call. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time.